All right, guys, we need a, a social hack for, for one thing stuff. It's called OneBlet. It's actually an evolution step to what we did at our startup, and we wrote a, a proof of concept for usability tests overnight. Uh, what you can do in OneBlet is, is want, to, want a bunch of stuff. You can see Johanna Tukiene here uh, is looking for uh, Rasva Imu near, nearby Oulu. And as, as you go to um, my internet, is not working here. Can I get a cable? Ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> one, right? I think we should pause the phone. Okay. <laughs> you know, you can you can leave comments here, and they will appear in the feed. Once you do that, so okay, cool, it works. Then we we created an API for others to use as well while we were at it, and we noticed that already there was a couple of companies, you know, Audi. We created a one button name interface so that you can seamlessly integrate the Audi.com to our our product. And you can you can want an Audi and, and you know it, it'll appear in, in your want list and a stream. But then we contacted the IKEA as well, they did the same. So they have a same button name in their web page. And you know, Nokia called us, you know, Thanks early again. this morning. Uh, we we had a one button installed in, in their website as well. <laughs> so you know all in all, we did a proof of concept. Yeah. Wait, so just a few questions. So, so this is this is acting like a Facebook like. It is, but it's a one. Um, you know, we hack. Uh, it use Google APIs for fetching information about the products. It does two calls to Google APIs. It displays a map, which I forgot to show you. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a. Well, and, and it puts it right into the site. And not to mention, it, it exposes an API, which is you know totally. I go to OneBlet.com to see. It. <laughs> yeah, it exists. Thank you. All right, awesome.